Good afternoon students. Today we're going to continue with exam papers starting with paper 1, part 2, questions 9 until 16, error identifications. So mainly this is about grammar. So the first tip is that you should read the passage carefully and understand it. So, baca dulu, read the passage. While reading, you need to identify tense used throughout the text. So, you kena tahu lah, which, is it present tense or is it past tense? You have to check the subject and the verb. So, verb tu, is it is, am, is, are? Kalau am, is, are tu present tense. So, is it past tense, was, were? Okay, next... The errors are grammatical. So, kesalahan grammar. Not spelling, not punctuation. Okay, just grammar. Bukan salah eja lah. No spelling. Errors. So, it could be nouns, pronouns, articles, etc. And then, the errors are almost always in the same grammatical form as the correct ones. So, normally, kalau salah tu, dia akan dalam satu kelompok yang sama. For example... If the error is R, the correct word should be were or vice versa, depending on the text overall tense use. So, kalau R, it, sh it can be um, am, is, and then kalau past tense, were. So, normally in the same context, sama je, satu group. For example, if it's articles, kalau yang salah tu, a, so the answer could either be an or the. And then, kalau personal pronouns, yang salah tu, she. So, it could be you, they. You should read the whole passage to check your answers. So, the correct words usually would not steer away completely from the errors. Tak adalah kalau yang salah a, tiba-tiba jawapan dia you. Ha, no. Usually, it's the same form. Okay, today we're going to focus on conjunction, pronouns, articles, and subject verb agreement. So we are going to revise the notes, revise the rules. What you have to do is uh, do the exercises. Okay, keluarkan kertas, salin soalan, dan tulis jawapan. Tak perlu salin nota. Alright, let's start with conjunction. Okay, types of conjunction to show similar value or function. So, kalau and and both, untuk tunjuklah benda yang sama. Okay, mother bought some apples and grapes. Okay, shouldn't be a problem. Number two, to show contrast. So, contrast, normally but, although, however. So, Lucy can sing well. Dia boleh nyanyi dengan baik. But, okay, ada contrast. But, she cannot dance. Okay, so to show contrast, but, although, however. And then number three, to show consequence or result. Untuk tunjukkan kesan, consequence. So, since. Normally, so, Dennis was not at home. So, kesannya, Laila left him a note. Okay, number four, to show reasons. Nak tunjukkan sebab, because or as. So, Tommy was punished. Ha? Kenapa dia dihukum? Because he was late for school. Okay, number five. To show two or more actions happening at once. So, nak tunjuk dua ataupun lebih perkara yang berlaku pada satu masa yang sama. While or when. So, switch off the light. Sutuk lampu when you leave the room. So, bila kamu tinggalkan bilik. So, pada masa yang sama lah. Two, more, two actions happening at once. So, use when or while. Okay, next is pronouns. Kata ganti diri. Number one, personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. So, ni yang betul. Right? She and I had a fight. Yang salah, I and she. So, I ni ada dekat belakang. She and I. And then, possessive pronouns. Pronouns untuk uh, tunjukkan kepunyaan. Barang kepunyaan. Milik siapa. Okay, kalau yang salah, my mother likes his new hairstyle. Kenapa salah his? Mother. Mother ni perempuan. So, kalau perempuan, her. My mother likes her new hairstyle very much. So, hairstyle ni hairstyle siapa? Her. 
not she, not she hairstyle, her hairstyle. So kepunyaan mine, kepunyaan saya, yours, kepunyaan awak. Alright. Next, reflexive pronouns. So reflexive usually you self lah banyak self, myself, yourself. Kalau singular seorang saja self. Kalau plural, banyak, ramai, V-E-S, okay? Ourselves, yourselves, themselves. So, wrong, she shamelessly praise himself in front of the class. Okay, kenapa salah himself? She, she kan perempuan. So, should be herself. Okay, now, exercise. Write the correct words in the space provided. So, for example, number one. I blame me for not handling the situation well enough. So, salah me. Sepatutnya, myself. I blame myself. Salahkan diri sendiri, myself. So, try to do all of the sentence. Cuba betulkan yang salah ni, yang highlighted bold. Okay, them, her, himself, it's my, ourself, itself, themself, himself. Okay, tulis jawapan yang betul. Salin. Okay, salin dalam kertas ke or or in your exercise book. Okay, pause the video. Hentikanlah video ni so kamu salin sekarang. Alright. Next, articles. A and the. So, A dengan N ni, indefinite article. Indefinite maksudnya, dia boleh jadi... Yang mana-mana pun, tak specific. It's not specific to that thing, to that particular thing. Mana-mana pun boleh. So, let's say, a book. So, buku ni mana-mana buku pun boleh. It's not specific to science book, textbook, tak. A book, okay. Sebuah buku, mana-mana pun boleh. So, kalau a is for consonant sound. Bukan a je eh. Sound, bunyi. So, a book, a table, a clock. Kalau n ni, Vowel sound. So, bunyi. Bukan ejaan. So, an apple. So, for example, umbrella. So, umbrella, bunyi dia a. Right? So, the sound. A, A, E, O, U. Alright? Kalau U, sound tu Y. Y tu consonant. So, it's here. So, it's about the sound. Bunyi. Bukan ejaan. Alright? So, an apple. Elephant, umbrella, so N. Number three is the definite articles. Kalau indefinite, mana-mana pun boleh, tak specific. Kalau definite, specific, the, yang memang yang itu. Number one, something that is unique or there is only one. So unique, ada satu benda je. For example, the sun, matahari ada satu je kan? So the sun, the moon, bulan pun ada satu kan? So the moon, not a moon. The internet. Then number two, second time you talk about the same noun. So, kamu cakap pasal benda tu kali ke dua. I bought a shirt. Okay, saya beli sehelai baju. Tapi tak cakap lah baju mana. And then, the shirt is red. So, you know, the shirt ni from a shirt. You refer the a shirt tadi tu. So, the shirt is red. So, it's definite. Dah tahu dah shirt yang mana satu. The red one. Then number three, directions. So, The west, east, the north, the south. Alright. Now, please do these exercises. Number one, I can see a moon from up here. So, you know, moon ada satu saja. So, the moon. Okay, try to do all. Silent semua dalam kertas ataupun exercise book. Okay. Next is subject verb agreement. So, subject dengan verb subject tu orang ataupun benda okey verb perbuatan alright kalau singular singular maksudnya satu satu saja subject baby seorang saja so verb diperlukan teman so verb dia kena ada s so baby seorang drinks sari satu saja is the tailor seorang saja stitches es Alright, he, she, it, everyone. Everyone ni kira satu, one. Everyone, someone, no one. Tu kira singular. So, is or was. Okay, or ad, kalau verb ada, s. Kalau plural, benda ataupun orang yang ramai, benda yang banyak. So, babies, many babies, banyak lah. 
drink. So verb tak perlu kan? S. The two subject and verb agreement. So remember, singular seorang. Kalau seorang perlukan teman, teman dia S. Kalau plural, sudah ramai. Subject dah ramai, dah banyak. Tak perlukan teman. So verb tak perlu S. So are you with me? I am. You are. To present tense. Kalau past tense, were. Kalau this one, past tense, was. Okay, please continue with this exercise. Number one, somebody are playing a prank on me. Somebody, dikira singular. Somebody ni kira singular. So, singular is. Somebody is. Okay, try to do the rest. Salin dalam kertas ataupun exercise book. Okay, now... Dah siap semua exercises, three exercises tadi tu. Continue with English Workbook, page 27. Read the text and correct the underlined errors. Okay, mother's leftover soup. So, maksudnya soup mak dia yang tak habis, leftover. My mother loves making soup. She took all the leftover vegetables in the fridge and makes her famous leftover soup. So, she seorang saja. Ni past tense. Then, ni, my mother loves. So, present tense. So, check. My mother loves. So, present tense, not past tense. So, she takes all the leftover vegetables. Okay, each time it's different. Setiap kali dia buat mesti berbeza. Because it always tastes good. So, apa yang nampak kat sini ada contrast. Each time it's different. It always tastes good. So, number one, okay, try to do it on your own. Last week, she used up all the vegetables. So, minggu lepas, dia guna semua. Added some onions, carrots and celery. And they enjoyed a pot of nutritious soup. Okay, they. Mereka. Kenapa mereka? Tadi, my. So, siapa yang enjoy ni? Who eats the soup? This week, she threw out some leftover chicken with some vegetables and made it into a delicious soup. So, she threw out. Kalau throw out tu maksudnya buang. Adakah dia buang? No, right? We had it with some buns. So, makan dengan roti. Roti bun. That was a filling meal. So, rasa sangat kenyang lah makan tu. It's really quite simple and cheap. Anyone can do them. Them. Okay, them ni refers to the soup, right? So, soup. Is it them? First, chop some carrots, onions and celery. Try and keep the pieces small. So, dekat sini try. Tak ada S kan? So, let's see. It should be similar. Try and keep. When boiling, you can... Okay, salah ni sepatutnya. You can add. Tambah. You can add some flavoring or stock cubes. And you like. Ah, okay, salah N ni. Season with salt and pepper. Simmer for a few minutes. About half... A hour, hour. You see the sound? A, ah, not ha. Hour. So is it a and or the? Then you are done. The soup is best served in toast or buns. So soup ni dihidangkan in. Is it in? No, right? In toast or buns. Toast ni roti bakar. Right? So try to do it on your own. Three exercises. And then one exercise from English workbook. Alright, that's all.